and that's why it ended up in a loss of yardage. And now Green with a long yardage situation just overthrows Devin Carter, who had separation. Kalen King was knotted up with him, and that's exactly the matchup we've been looking forward to. But this is exactly what James... Green fires. Incomplete. He threw it behind Traylon Ray, the freshman, and it's a turnover on downs forced by the Nittany Lions. Uh, Garrett Green knows he missed that one. The protection was there. Fourth down. Garrett Green just throws it behind the clock. Will not stop on first downs this year until under two minutes in the second and fourth quarters. Great defensive play. Kalen King. Great job to come from the secondary and get Donaldson before he had any momentum. Yeah, I mean, Kalen King, we know he's a lockdown corner, but in college football, particularly, you got to be a good run defender, too. I mean, he got in a good spot on the field, too. And Connor rolls out. Chased after in the end zone, has to get rid of it and does. Going towards the sideline, the general direction of Chandler Harvin. But this Delaware offense, they have a touchdown, a 66 yard run. Tackles. Altmaier hit as he throws, incomplete. His receiver, Isaiah Williams, not even ready. He hadn't turned to look for the ball. And that will bring up third down. 31. Altmaier sprinting out, looks back side, sets up a screen to Moore. And Moore dives forward, doesn't have enough for the first down. Caitlin King trips him up, gains five on third and ten. Alertly, Penn State right away burns one of their three timeouts to try to save this 53 and see if they can grab a score. King scouts just staring at him, watching him warm up. And I was I was loving watching him. That ball gunned to the sideline and broken up. Intended for Hollins and Kalen King there defensively. Now well, speaking about another guy that those scouts were really interested in, Kalen King. Kalen King really made the name for himself being opposite of Joey Porter Jr. Remember in the first game last year against Purdue, Gus, we called that game. And Joey Porter Jr., I think he had seven or eight pass breakups. Well, from that point on, they started being tight end. A toss sweep. Williams. And he actually backpedaled for a little extra. In negative yardage plays so far in the game. Remember that last week, Penn State limited Iowa to 76 yards. This is a positive yardage play on a pass to Bryce Kerr today. That's been one of the high points for Northwestern on offense. That happened on their touchdown drive. This is third and nine, back shoulder throw. Looking for the defending Big Ten Offensive Player of the Week, Bryce Kurtz, and it's incomplete and a punt. Yeah, he's the Big Ten Offensive Player of the Week, but do you know who he's being covered by? Kalen King, who's one of the best cornerbacks in all of college football. Last year, he was rated as the number one corner in one-on-one -on -one man coverage. And here you are, Bryce Kurtz coming off a 200-plus yard day, but he is locked down. With Indiana tonight, but the focus right now. Start of the fourth quarter. Does Northwestern have another big comeback in them? They start the fourth quarter with Cam Porter cutting to the outside. He is under. October 21st is that date you're speaking of for the game with the Buckeyes. But right now, oh, it's a fumble snap. Sullivan picks it back up, and he's trying to turn it into something. It is a positive play, but it's chance to be a first round draft pick is now following Marvin Harrison Jr. around the battle within the battle as Manny Diaz, the defensive coordinator, tries to stop Maserati Mar. Second down and eight near side incomplete. Harrison the target Harrison last year against Penn State 10 catches 185 yards three catches already today and that one an uncharacteristic drop those same page. Johnny Dixon, senior from Tampa, Florida, near side, Williams out of the backfield, and he'll lose yardage on the play. Great coverage by Penn State, Day Day Hardy. First man to him, loss of two. And Hardy had no opposition. This is a huge mistake from Carnell Tate. Watch on the right side, number 17, the freshman wide receiver. He just whiffs on this stock block. Hardy then comes in, and Mayan Williams has got nowhere to go. Kalen King comes in there to... McCord, another handoff. Williams bounced it and knocked backwards, and he'll be lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Carter with the push. Kalen King ushers him out of play. You know, he's got a lane here, Mayan Williams.
Williams if he wants to try to stay and go up the field because he's got a lead blocker in Stover who can take care of Abdul Carter, but you can't outrun Carter. He's too fast and athletic, and he gets that one extended toward the sideline. That needs to go up the field. It doesn't, and Carter makes a great stop. Boy, he's good. The pressure this season. Second down and 15 at the 20. McCord to the sideline, and it's caught by Xavier Johnson. He's stopped by Kaylin King. But when you look at this Ohio State team, Joel, they average. On third down and five, Swordsby, quick toss, passes incomplete. His intended receiver is the old quarterback, Donovan McCulley, and he overthrew him. Right there, they're looking to spread the defense out. You put that diamond up top, and you come back one-on-one -on -one coverage with McCullough, and you know exactly what defense they're in. Ball thrown a little bit outside. It goes for the one-hand catch. That's one source beyond. Today on third down conversions. They need one here, and Lucas can't hang on. He threw it behind him, but it was a catchable ball. Kalen King with the extra hit. Kalen King coming up, delivering a hit at that cornerback spot and knocks the ball loose but for indiana right now it's not fourth and short you got to think about going for at their own 38 yard line here's the handoff edwards looking for room and he gets crunched great defense tyler elsden as well as kaylin king getting up to the line of scrimmage to change the play the throw high and incomplete ian strong the target coverage good now from the 17, it's third and goal. This is an area where, you know, Winston can only do so much. Football for quarterbacks, so important. Aaron Young with the carry. Chewing up the clock and setting up for the field goal. Started 42 consecutive games at left guard. Is now at center with the injured Nick Samak out. As Hauser just has to get rid of it. And it's incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag. Kalen King and Montori Foster the matchup. Yeah, I, I think they might have been able to call this on Kalen King. I thought the contact came before the ball got there. There's Kalen King. He's got his left arm around the receiver. And I think this definitely could have been called. He held him there, and then the left arm is around the receiver as Montori Foster is trying to break outside. Team to victory. And man, can he produce when he's in rhythm. Robinson with great pressure. Hauser just had to float it up. And in triple coverage, Montori Foster was the closest wide receiver there.